Welcome back, it's Melanie or She Should Scrapper. So today I am back with a two page layout using the Sarah collection from Felicity Jane Studio. I am going to rip this scrap piece of yellow paper um, and that is going to kind of go across the top of the page. I am going to kind of, I guess, measure the thickness of, I guess, it on the inside of page one if that makes sense so that I could kind of make sure that the thickness of the inside of page two matched and I'm going to do the same with this um, paper here you can see that I was kind of measuring it on my Versamat on the um, that black mat I have behind and then I'm kind of again going to do the same thing with this blue paper this is a collection I must have only used maybe once um, but really liked the phrase kind of title stickers. And once I saw it, I knew kind of what title I wanted to use and thought it would be perfect for the photos I'm going to be using. So that's kind of how I chose this collection for these photos. And the photos I'm going to be scrapbooking are photos of my kids um, playing with Silly String with my sister. I have scrapbooked several of these photos already. Um, we did this kind of two separate times and the photos just turned out so fun um, that, you know, each time I wanted to scrapbook them. So each of them look a little bit different even though the photos are pretty similar. Uh, I did trim down one here kind of... I, must be a four by four square um, and I am going to back it in black I chose black because of the kind of bottom paper it has the words the phrases in black and so I wanted to incorporate that um, elsewhere in my layout as well so I lately have been using both my Cricut paper cutter here and then I have this We Are Memory Keepers um, paper trimmer because I don't feel like I'm getting a straight cut with my Cricut one. And the close, or not the close to my heart, the We Are Memory Keepers one, I feel like I can get kind of trim off a little, a smaller amount. Um, so I've been using both uh, when I back my photos. I decided to bring black into this photo as well. The Felicity Jane collections have a couple of solid colored cardstock um, that comes with the collections, but I had scrap pieces and then I had this whole piece here, um, but I just kind of wanted to use up the blue uh, and bring in just some different colors, not just all black and not just all yellow. So I did kind of mix up my backing colors for my photos. Um, you can see that I do have some <laughs> white paper um, taped over my son. We had did silly string at one point and it must have been old silly string and it stuck to it was more watery and stuck to the clothes and stained the clothes. So after that time we decided that we would just do silly string in our underwear. But as my kids get older I've kind of decided that they probably wouldn't be happy with them in their underwear all over the internet. So <laughs> you may be seeing more of white paper taped on my photos. So like I said, the uh, title kind of sticker sheet, there was the word create and there was the word sunshine. And so I decided to um, make create your own sunshine my title and so i did bring in this kind of teal color um, font that is from felicity jane as well i think it must be an older one because it likes to curl so i'm probably gonna have to go back and tape it down um add some more adhesive somewhere so the ephemera for felicity jane collections they're maybe minimalistic, maybe, I don't know. 
I'm used to like ephemera packs that have so many options, whereas this kind of has limited options. Sometimes it makes it easier. Sometimes I feel like it makes it harder for me. So you can see that I added a tag and a flower to the left hand side, just trying to use up what I have um, for this collection. I'm going to add another flower cluster up towards the top. And then it has all of these kind of labels. Uh, well, I guess I'll call them label stickers. Um, and I've seen recently others kind of stagger the labels. Um, so I decided to kind of do that with the bottom part of my layout. Um, and I, you can see I at first had them all on page one, but then decided to bring it over to page two as well and stagger them and then kind of add those, use those kind of as a base for some phrase stickers and whatnot. So the ephemera pack had a couple of just kind of phrase pieces and then circular phrase pieces. So I did go ahead and kind of mix and match those kind of based on the colors of the labels too. And then they had three kind of tiny flags that I added to that open space on the top right of page two. I did go into my stash for some different pieces. Um, I had this freckled fawn chipboard uh, phrases and I added one to the tag to the left there. And then I got my freckled fawn uh, puffy hearts. And so I'm going to kind of add those to each of the labels at the bottom of the page as well as kind of add some to the top um, floral cluster. But I just thought kind of with those circular stickers that the hearts just kind of one filled in the space, but kind of just helped, I don't know, with how it looked. I felt like it kind of by itself, those circular um, pieces was a little bit plain, but with the hearts, I felt like it just added that kind of the right touch. So that is going to finish off this layout. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye guys.